an ominous detour from last month's regal-sounding major add two arpeggios and French horn fifths, I now would like to entice you to come to the dark side, musically speaking, and show you a way to create some eerie, sinister-sounding melodies um, by taking our one, two, three, five major add two arpeggio and flatting the second. So we have one flat two, three, five. And this creates a sound that is both bright and dark, or good and evil. Check it out. What we're going to do here is take a four note shape or module, like the ones I showed you last month played in three octaves, and we're going to flat the second. So if you look at the A add two shape, one of them that I showed you previously, which was. We're gonna flat the two, so it's. So we basically are playing four notes and then doing the same thing, two frets higher on the middle two strings and then three frets higher on the top two strings and then coming back down. That sounds pretty spooky, right? When played over like an A bass note or an A major chord or an even A5 power chord. Now, another useful way to play this is a two octave pattern where we're gonna start on the fifth string root. On the 12th fret A note here, we're gonna go. And then do the same thing, two frets higher, starting on the G string. And then while we're at it, we're just gonna roll the pinky up the top. Pretty twisted, right? You can do a bunch of different things with that. You can play it horizontally, which is up and down the neck. And this is a pretty cool trick. You're gonna take this. And we're gonna move it up in minor thirds. So that's the same thing you do with like the diminished seven chords. You know, you've heard this before. That's what we're doing here. And I'm using hammer-ons here, every available hammer-on and pull-up, because the goal, the concept, I'm using like, you can hear an overdriven tone, trying to get that saxophone-like articulation, you know, that um, Alan Holdsworth, that soft, soft touch, you know, so it's very cool. It works out well with that. The fingering, I'm leading with the index finger each time. Index middle, index pinky. Now here, I switched to the ring finger because I wanted to do that high whole step bend up to A. Here's a piece of advice. Don't bend with your pinky, ever. It's never gonna end up well. I mean, even if you reinforce it, the other fingers, you know, there's a good chance that the string will slip out from under your fingers. So whenever you're gonna do a bend, you know, you can reverse the contour like that, starting leading with the pinky. And you can also alternate pick. And you do it the opposite way. Now, as that example showed you, if you take the second form, that's, uh, think of it as C add flat two. So, you know, it's A add flat two, C add flat two, E flat add flat two, F sharp add flat two, A add flat two. But mind you, we're playing these all over an A tonality, like an A drone, A pedal tone, bass note, or power chord, or even a major chord. 
Now, if you take this, the second one, C add flat two, this is a very cool way to get like a seven sharp nine sound. You know that? <laughs> Jimi Hendrix purple haze chord. So you play that over an A root. If we take this form here, I showed you earlier. Move it up three frets. Play that over A. You can, um, what I'll do is take it down an octave. It's a little less crowded down here. Sounds pretty, pretty tough, right? Play it over A, it's like, you know, like instant, like, pungently bluesy. Another cool thing you can do with this uh, major flat two arpeggio, add flat two arpeggio, is move diagonally up and across the neck and tritones. So I'm gonna take A add flat two, and then E flat add flat two, and then just keep leapfrogging them like that. I say you can end it. So again, it's. You know, a little convenient pull up there to the A root note. Sounds pretty wild when played over an, an A. What's interesting is that when you combine all these notes, it gives you the eight note what's called the A half whole diminished scale. We're down here. Which may be spelled root, flat two, sharp two, or flat nine, I'm sorry, sharp nine. Major third, flat five, five, six, flat seven, root but it doesn't always sound that great to just play it straight up and like that. So when you break it up into these little patterns, you can create some interesting contours with it. Okay, another very cool thing you could do is take the uh, tritone thing and then combine that with the up and minor thirds thing. So you have this. We're starting on the uh, G string now. We're using all the forms that i previously shown you. And then, leading on the middle finger. Conveniently ending with a little pull-off there. And again, you can also work on trying to pick it you know, with some palm muting. One more thing, you can also change the contour, you know, start on the top note. You know, you're leading with the pinky now, so you want to look at where your, your notes you're targeting. So we're going five, two, three, two. That's A add flat two. And then we're going E flat add flat two. And then C add flat two. F sharp, E flat, A, F sharp, C. And I'm gonna do this little tricky thing where I can get in position for a bend. You notice I switched to the uh, ring finger for the bend, supported by the middle finger, of course, because. Again, you don't want to bend with the pinky ever. So you go. 